Hey Leos, what's going on? Welcome to your July monthly, well not your monthly, but your July love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember, if the messages here don't resonate, check your other Zodiac sign videos. So you can check your Moon, your Rising, especially your Venus sign videos and see if those messages resonate better with you. Okay? If you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down below. I represent for Leo gang. Gang, gang. And yeah, we're going to be doing these readings a little different. I'm going to spend the first five or six minutes talking to leo singles and then leos who are in relationships will save for the next uh five or six minutes but feel free to watch the entire video you may get some messages in case some of you are kind of in limbo or in that um crossroads phase where you got one foot out the door and one foot in so you may want to hear both readings okay also if you want to do a private reading with me the link to my website is down below it's just readstarot.com and if you want to submit your questions for the monthly mini readings, you can submit as many questions as you like. You can join my Patreon to do so, okay? It's only $3.33 a month, and you can submit questions to me, and I'll answer them here on YouTube. All right, let's get into it, Leo. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Leo singles for the month of July sun moon rising and venus signs leo singles what can you tell me for leo singles sun moon rising and venus signs for the month of july for leo singles what's going on wedding okay the situation involves marriage forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and give your relationship a chance Okay, Leos, many of you might have gotten out of, doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage, but uh, something similar where you were living together, you know, there's some, some sort of deep relationship or connection that you had in the past, could even almost have led to marriage. Um, some of you literally were married or are married, um, but you're separated. Either way, you know, it's asking you to, to let go of the past and if you're in another relationship or you're separated, you may want to try to work it out with this person. Some of you may not. That's absolutely your choice. But this could be saying as well to give any future partners a chance. If you want to have an opportunity to find love again, then you'll need to release your past and, and, and forgive. It's saying that it's safe for you to love here, Leo. All right, very soon decide what you want because it's coming your way, okay? I think you're in a situation where you're stuck in the past, but you also want to move forward. And whatever you've experienced before, it's, it's making you feel like you can't fully love again. You can't open up yourself again to love because you've already done that in the past and it, and it didn't work out well. Okay, but universe wants you to decide very soon what it is that you want to do. Okay, you've got to make a decision. You can't stay in limbo forever. You can't have one foot in the past and one foot in the future. You have to decide. And I feel like universe wants you to move forward. Okay, there's definitely somebody around you who you may have feelings for, but you're holding back because you don't want to get hurt. All right, but universe wants you to express your love. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, you see, you're getting to know somebody here, but you still have this codependent relationship where you're still connected to your past. Okay. Yeah, I see why. Children are involved. It says your love life is being affected by children, okay? Um, if there's not literal children, this probably was a person that you knew since childhood. Um but there is something you're codependent to you're still holding on to an ex you probably have children with this person um but you're also trying to leave that in the past but you can't 100 percent. you know this person cannot exit your life 100 percent because of the children but um i think the romantic ties is done and it's, it's time for you to make a decision here and to move forward if that's what you decide okay for some of you you may be trying to work things out with um 
a husband, father of your kids, um, a wife, mother of your kids, but um, it's going to require a lot of work. Many of you want to give this relationship a chance, but you're undecided, okay? So I feel like you guys are single, but emotionally and mentally you're not single. You're still in the past. You're still, you haven't moved on completely. And I know, you know, you guys are, are, you show that outer side of you that, you know, everything's fine. I've moved on. Deep down inside, you have not moved on. Okay. So, yeah. And look at that. Bottom of your deck. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. That's what I'm saying. You guys are putting on a, a mask of everything's okay, but everything's not okay, Leo. So it's time for you to decide. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. All right, Leos, if you guys want to do a private reading with me, JessReadsTarot.com. Check out the uh, description to find all of the links. Now let's get into Leos who are in relationships. Leos who are in relationships or have a boo or dating, whatever the case may be. Remember, I said you can watch both. Whatever messages you feel applies to you better, go for it. All right, Leos in relationships. What can you tell me about Leos who are in relationships in the month of July? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Leos, religious factors. Again, you have this card very soon. And soulmate. Okay, Leos, you guys are with your soulmate right now. You guys... um. You have very strong uh, spiritual beliefs, very strong um, values when it comes to love. Okay, I feel like you were raised that way with very strong spiritual beliefs. And you're involved with your soulmate right now, but I still feel like there's some sort of decision you need to make. You're getting the same cards again. Forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So again, just like the singles, some of you need to release some pain from the past and decide, you know, are you truly going to be involved in this relationship? Are you going to let go of the past and move forward? Because this relationship seems more like where you're supposed to be. Like your spiritual, you know, spirit has guided you to finally find your soulmate. And the person you were with in the past was not your soulmate. Okay. You have honeymoon, which is saying that whatever relationship you're in now, it's, it's, it's nice. It's calm. It's, it's blissful. Okay. Unrequited love though. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I think it's because you still, you're still holding on to things in the past I hate to say this, Leo, but I feel like some of you are comparing your new person to the person in the past, and it doesn't compare somehow. Healing family issues. Playfulness and free yourself. Leo, you've got to free yourself. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen here. Forgiving and learning and healing. This is what's causing you to, to not fully love, okay? You're with your soulmate, but you're not fully engaged leo okay and you're interpreting that as as unrequited love as not really being with the person you're supposed to be like something is holding you back or making you feel like uh eh, yeah i'm in this relationship but it's it's not as exciting as the old one was or it's not as don't think about that you have to free yourself and and Take back control of your life and embrace yourself and make a decision. You can't have one foot in the past and one foot in the future. Okay? I do, for some of you, I do get that whoever this person in the past is, you, you don't have romantic feelings for them anymore. That's for some of you. Okay? But they still have a hold on you, Leo. You got to free yourself. Okay? Clearly decide what it is that you want. Do you want to free yourself from these ghosts from the past and move forward for real? And enjoy this honeymoon phase that you're in with your soulmate. I feel like your soulmate can sense that something's off, something's not right. And you're gonna, you know, you don't wanna push this person away. This is who you're meant to be with, but you have to heal and you have to move forward and you have to truly move forward not not that superficial healing where you know you're you're trying to save face and it's all ego you have to heal from the inside and truly truly mean it all right leos so i hope that this reading was able to give you 
Look at that. You even got engagement at the bottom of your deck. This person that you're with, they want to marry you, Leo. If they haven't already, pop the question. So decide. Are you going to seriously move forward or not? You know? So this person wants to be with you. All right, Leos? I hope this reading resonated. I hope it was able to give you some clarity. If you want to do a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below, justreadstarot.com. If you want to submit your questions for the monthly mini read, join my Patreon to do so. That link is also down below. All right, guys, I love you. See you in the next video.